Michael Pepelmar, he's the head of uh, design for Chevrolet, for some of the cars of Chevrolet. You have a lot of cars, right? Uh, there's a few, so, yes. <laughs> yeah. So you're in charge of the small uh, crossovers and uh, sedans, right? Passenger cars and small crossovers. We like to call it the sweet spot, right? Okay. That's yeah. the largest that, that, that volume. The That's most, the largest right? volume. That's exactly. right. Exactly. So very important person, obviously, but like the product is, is it's amazing. So one of the questions I always have for designers is how challenging is it today to create something unique because uh, because of, of, of uh, regulations, safety regulations, and uh, engineering limitations, production limitations. I mean, yeah, you might have like a great idea, but like the engineer would say, well, ah, maybe that won't work in the production line, right? Well, there's there's always a constant debate. There's always a constant quest for new things. You know, even with all those variables that you mentioned. Just consider the car really hasn't changed in its format in yeah. many years, right? It has four wheels, it has an engine, it's got to fit people inside. Those people really haven't grown. So proportionally, things don't change much. So wrapping it in something beautiful, creative, and unique does pose its challenges. Um, that's why we have some of the best and youngest, brightest minds, especially here today, yeah. to try to reskin the cat, so to speak, reinterpret what's been done before. Make to keep things fresh and exciting. And now uh, Chevrolet being a, such a global company, I mean, you have to bring talent from all over the world. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So how, how does that process work? How does the process work? Yeah, like what, like you like okay, we're gonna design like the new cruise, I and mean, like then you assign it to one team in like Korea or in Germany. Oh or, no, or, no, or not US all the time. Like um, many um, there's always a homeroom for a vehicle, but before that, the before the theming takes off. Um, there's usually a global sketch blitz where we will incorporate ideas and opinions from around the world. So we will have to, we will go through thousands of great ideas, thousands of sketches, yeah. right, to try to get to the best possible solution, the most creative solution that furthers the brand character of Chevrolet, right? Uh, and yeah. in the end, right, that brand character, that brand character is really a living document. You know, all of the elements that I mentioned in the presentation. Um, they're set up so that there's a bandwidth that we can draw between to constantly keep the vehicle fresh and evolve it from product, product to product. So uh, one of the key aspects is to to have the brand identity, right? Yes. And like obviously Chevrolet has like the Camaro and the chair and the Corvette, but then you want to bring some of those elements into these cars, so as you say, like are like the the, the, the mass volume of, of what you sell. So right. that's another big challenge. Right. Well, in the you know in this presentation I mentioned, for example, this is a great one: wheel-oriented forms. You know what is that? Like on the yeah. Camaro. The wheels are out to the corners. There's these strong, muscular haunches above the wheels, really giving the impression of power. And that's what the car is supposed to look like. That's yeah. supposed to emanate that type of attitude. It may not be appropriate for a Malibu, but the Malibu yeah. wants to be just as dramatic and just as beautiful. So the wheel-oriented forms there are really how the masses of the vehicles are set up above those wheels. Right? You can see on the body side, the rear of the vehicle, above the wheels, there's a, it catches a lot of light. Yeah. And then in the front, there's a, very, there's a small football in there. So it's really how you interpret what wheel-oriented forms are. On the Spark, it's something very different. They emanate, they, they, um, they become these slashes, these sort of under, um, uh, undercuts, right, yeah. that really try to bring the wheels out and highlight them. So there's lots of different ways to achieve that. And sticking through with that brand character, even though they're all executed differently based on who the customer is, you know, they'll all have this relationship in, in the showroom. They'll all look like they're part of a family. And finally, um, I mean, we don't have too much time here, unfortunately, but technology is such an important part of, of the car industry today. Uh, that's like, must be really difficult to predict what you're going to put into a car and how you're going to implement it. Because most of the problems that, that consumers talk about, it's like, how to make it work, I mean, how, how it's accessible, how it's like well-placed, I mean, because you can have like the best technology in the, in the world in the car, and if the passenger can reach it, it's like right. not very good, Technology right? is only as good exactly. as, as how can, easy it is to yeah. use. So when we're striving to put technology in the car, it really has to pass one test, and does it make life simpler or easier for the, for the consumer? If it doesn't, uh, we got to question whether it really yeah. needs to be in there. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Very interesting talking to you. And like, it's very interesting to, uh, for the audience, I, I would say, like, you were talking about, like, for example, some of those lines in the side of the car. I mean, that's a lot of work and detail. And most people said, okay, that's look 
cool. But most people don't have any idea how much work and and think process goes behind. Well, that's a okay. Decision like that, right? As long as they love it in the end, <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's as long as they love part. it in the end. Well, it's just, uh, I think they're loving them uh, right now. So thank you very much for your time and uh, congratulations on your job. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.